Hey Credit Warriors, well do we have a show for you today. So there is a new sign up bonus on the Chase Sapphire Preferred. The Sapphire Preferred of course is Chase's mid-level travel credit card. It earns two points per dollar on travel and dining. The points are worth 1.25 cents through the travel portal and there's a load of airline and transfer partners as well and a $95 annual fee. Now the Sapphire Preferred for a long time offered a 60,000 point sign up bonus which is already pretty good and better than the 50,000 which is on the uh, Sapphire Reserve but now the Chase Sapphire Preferred is offering an 80,000 point sign up bonus for spending $4,000 in the first three months. Now this used to be a targeted offer, but it is now public. You can find it on Chase's website or through our links as well. Now this new sign up bonus makes the Sapphire Preferred a great card to have right now because if you want a Sapphire card, this is less of a commitment than the Sapphire Reserve thanks to the lower annual fee, $95 versus $550. And of course, you know, a lot of the travel benefits on the Sapphire Reserve aren't really that useful right now because people simply aren't traveling that much or they're doing much more road trips and domestic travel rather than international or air travel where you'd be using airline lounges or airport lounges, etc. Um, so one good strategy with this would be to apply for this card now, the Sapphire Preferred, and get an 80,000 point sign up bonus, keep it for a year, and then if you do want the Sapphire Reserve, um, you could upgrade in a year's time. You do have to wait a year though, there's no upgrade within one year. But uh, yeah, if you wanted it in the future, you could get it. And just remember the fine print about the bonus on this one. Let's check that out. The bonus is not available to new card members of any Sapphire card or previous card members of any Sapphire credit card who received a new card member bonus within the last 48 months. That's uh, four years, 48 months. So Chase is a bit more strict and it, you notice it says any Sapphire card. So that could be this card, uh, the Sapphire Reserve, or even the older regular Sapphire, which isn't available to new customers anymore. All right, now let's talk about the brand new Freedom Flex, which launched today from Chase, okay? Now, there were actually application links going around yesterday. If you searched Freedom Flex in Google, um, it would come up with an ad at the top of the page, which directly took you to the application. I guess Chase was running some Google ads for it. But as of today, you can actually go on Chase's website and find it. Look, there it is right there at the top of the page with all the other credit cards. And you can see they are offering the same sign-up bonus as the original Freedom had, which you can't apply for anymore as of today, uh, and also the Freedom Unlimited. So $200 for $500 in spending in the first three months, and then 5% back on grocery store purchases for the first year, up to $12,000 in spending. So that's $600 back if you max that out, then plus the $200, that makes $800 in sign-up bonuses, or that could also be converted to 80,000 UR points. You could transfer it over to a Sapphire card. So if you got both the Sapphire Preferred with 80,000 and the Freedom Flex with 80,000, you could have 160,000 points in your account, and you could do a lot with that. That's probably a uh, round trip first class ticket to Europe if you, you know, transferred to airlines, etc. There's a lot you could do with the 160,000 points. Now let's just take a quick look at the fine print though for the bonus on the Freedom Flex. This product is not available to either current card members of this credit card, well there aren't many of those because it only just launched, or previous card members of this credit card who received a new card member bonus for this credit card within the last 24 months. Now notice they say this credit card, okay? It's not like with the Sapphire one where they were like, any Sapphire card, it doesn't say any Freedom card, no, it says this credit card. So that means that if you have the Freedom Unlimited or the old Freedom card and you even still have that open and you apply for this card, you should still be able to get um, the sign up bonus on this card and that's because it's a new product, okay? It's a MasterCard, the old Freedom card is a Vida. Uh, so this is considered a new product, not just an update to the Freedom. Now the Freedom Flex uh, for the point earning, it has the 5% quarterly categories and those do seem to be the same as the Freedom. You can look quarter four of 2020, it will be Walmart and PayPal, exactly the same as the Freedom. We had a video on that yesterday. And then you can also earn 5% on travel booked through Chase. So not quite as good as it sounds at first. Uh, and then 3% on dining and also at drugstores, 1% on everything else. Now, some people who have the old Freedom Card have asked me in the comments and on Instagram, if they product change to the Freedom Flex, so actually call the number on the back of the card and say, hey, can you change my card to a Freedom Flex instead of a Freedom, uh, that's called a product change. If they do that, can they still get the sign up bonus? All right, now this may seem like an elementary question to some of the older viewers of our show, but let's go through it anyway. So the answer is no, you do not get a sign up bonus 
when you product change, okay? Now, product change is different to a new application because when you product change, you do not create a new line of credit on your account, so it doesn't have an effect uh, typically on your credit score, all right? Although in this case, you are actually changing from Visa to MasterCard, so you will get a new card number, but it is not going to be a new account on your credit report. So product changing would be the best option for someone who wants the Freedom Flex, but needs to kind of preserve their credit because they have maybe a mortgage or a loan application coming up. So typically you shouldn't apply for any new credit within like six months of applying for a mortgage, right? Because they don't wanna see, um, you know, look like you're desperate for credit or even, you know, have an effect on your credit score, etc. For other Freedom Card holders though, people who aren't imminently gonna apply for a mortgage, I would say absolutely apply for the Freedom Flex as a new account. Um, and you know, your old Freedom Card, you don't need to close that. You could just keep that, put it in a drawer, whatever. It's not gonna cost you any money because it's a no annual fee card anyway. And uh, keeping it open will help to maintain your credit score because it keeps your average age of open accounts long. So it's always good to have those really old accounts. For me, my Freedom Card was actually the first credit card I got. So I'm probably never gonna close that. Now, am I gonna apply for the Freedom Flex? Well, at the moment, no. Uh, because I don't want to do anything to harm my credit in any way because I'm actually preparing for a major uh, loan application for a business venture that I'm going in. I'll tell you guys more about that in the near future, okay? Once more of the details are kind of set, I don't want to say anything now before things are confirmed. Um, but anyway, uh, if this bonus is still around in maybe November, December, uh, I yeah, I probably will apply for the Freedom Flex and get that 80,000 points, awesome. Um, if it's not still around though, let's say the bonus has gone down to like 150, which is more of a normal bonus for this kind of card, and that grocery 5% category thing has gone, uh, then I may just product change to it. I mean, might as well, you know, you get a few more bonus categories on the card. Um, it's basically the same card, but just with added categories, and it's a MasterCard, so you get the uh, cell phone insurance with it and stuff like that. All right, before we go, guys, if you are interested in doing what I do and becoming a successful online entrepreneur, especially doing video through Facebook, YouTube, etc., why not consider taking part in our seven day go viral challenge? You get seven days of awesome content with me and my partner in this challenge, Kian Wong from the Star Producer Academy. The challenge is currently running an early bird special with the regular price of $88 slashed all the way down to $27 and that will only be available for a few more days. So if you are interested in becoming an online entrepreneur, click the link below and you can read everything about what we're going to teach in this seven day challenge and sign up if you are interested. We'll also put the links to the Sapphire Preferred and the Freedom Flex down below as well, so you can click in to learn more about those too. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.